here today to look at the lawn that I'm going to refer to as TV's lawn. It's a hybrid fescue lawn. It's in fair to good condition. A little, uh, little old damage, probably some digging here. It needs need to reestablish turf and these portions where the, all the crabgrass and weeds are, now are. See some crabgrass emerging in different places in the main body of the lawn. I have some yellow nut sedge here, which is a, a pest in our hybrid fescue cool season lawns during the summer in most parts of East Tennessee. <coughs> have it here as well. We've got in-ground irrigation which is good. Got uh, some summer summer annuals here along the margin. This is mainly Weeds in here will need to dress this up in the fall. <clears throat> I'm going to take the truck on around. There's a pretty clear moor line on this side, so I think I can see where I need to be. Um, this will need to be reestablished in turf, I'm assuming. This won't be anything other than grass. Teleco Lake. <clears throat> of summer weed in here, button weed and wild violet. Difficult but not impossible to control. Um, the mower line back here now um, no maybe not <clears throat> I don't know what that stake is but I'm still seeing a mower line now it's here so I'm guessing this dogwood tree is on the neighbor's property it's not uncommon for a homeowner to plant a tree or something at the corners to remind them where the property lines are. This is a very expansive lawn. Um, I'm guessing there's three quarters of an acre here. But again, it's in <clears throat> it's in fair condition. It's obviously hungry. The color's not good. Again, a lot of Virginia button wheat here. Let's see how far we go over here on this other side. Okay, I can't be sure here. It 
looks like it may be that this planting bed here is on the neighbors and that this planting bed there may be a more line right here and this planting bed is probably on the on the TV lawn side so <clears throat> I'm going to collect soil samples Let's probe around see what the soil looks like it's always the best first step to get soil samples collected and sent off to the lab and get an analysis done. So we're working best practices knowing what's needed to make the soil as productive as it can be. Um, again, Trying to make a best guess here. We can confirm this later when we have a conversation with TV, but I'm guessing that that, that bed straight ahead is, is part of this, this property, and that the mower line is heading straight up to the mailboxes there. So that's going to be the parameter that I use for now. And we'll get a confirmation later. But I'm going to stay well within any questionable property lines and collecting soil samples. So I'm sure to get them from all the places where there's no doubt. So that's the story. This is Mike Poole with Green Thumb signing out.